What's up, guys? Tim in the North here. Back with some more of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Doing something a little different this time. As you see, we didn't start off in the main menu looking at our statistics. That's because I'm doing a voiceover after this recording. Lost uh, takes a lot of focus, so I figured I would start trying to knock these out with a voiceover afterwards, just so I could focus more on what I was doing, opposed to having to try to give some kind of commentary that hurt. But I also started to hold down reset until I got a better starting item, because I was having a lot of runs where I was just essentially restarting, because I got off, you know, on the first floor with literally no items, on a couple of runs, uh, you know, getting health for the bosses and a useless space bar item on the first floor and then getting to the second floor, hitting the next item room and also getting a useless item. Kind of like this, kind of like that. But yeah, so I started holding down R and then, you know, recording as soon as I got an item that I liked. And in this case, it was the Pact, which is a tears up and damage up. A great stats to get early on and it's going to uh, be very helpful at the uh, start of this run at least. So we do have Burning Basement. We know my opinions and thoughts on that. We are coming up on the first boss room. Hoping it's not Ragman. It's actually been a about a week since I did this, so I can't remember anything. Monstro, we got this. Got this in the bag. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. I am doing the voiceover for this the day before it'll actually be going up. So I recorded this about last week, I think, but doing the voiceover on Tuesday night. This will be going up Thursday day. And uh, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. I'm uh, just trying to push through the work week. So um, got some plans this weekend. Looking forward to getting to those. And uh, got ourselves a health item right here and we turned it into meat. Unfortunately, the audio is not going to go through for this. Um, I have desktop muted, and you know, that's just how it is. That's just how it is right now. But, not done on the first floor yet. I'd like to get something here. Can't remember if it's compass or the battery. Both would be great. There it is. I'm going to take this battery, try to reroll lard into... Oh... Cricket's body. Look at this first floor. A packed meat, a battery, and Cricket's body. If only we could find the head, right? Basement two. So we got out of the burning basement. Fire hasn't caught up to us yet. So let's uh, try to blitz through this one. Feeling pretty good on the run at this point. Very powerful compared to many of the runs that I let go. There's been some bad ones. I promise you that. Nothing for us here. Gonna open up this chest. Nickel's pretty nice. We'll come back for that penny, I think. But yeah, Cricket's body is gonna give us some nice crowd control. Especially with our damage. I believe the burst shots are probably only like half the damage of our normal tiers, but very helpful with uh, clearing up mobs, especially large packs of flies. Not feeling this mushroom, didn't want the damage down, and you know what? The reroll worked out because we have Jacob's Ladder with Cricket's Body. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. This build is uh, going uh, coming along very nicely. Uh, I I'm telling you right now, at this point when I was recording, I, I couldn't believe it. I was in absolute disbelief that I was getting items that I could actually use and I know Plum is devastated to see us at this point in our builds but um sometimes you just gotta nuke Plum and stapler look at that damage we're not taking devil deals and that is because we need key pieces 
we are trying to get to Mega Scene. So we're passing up on the Devil Deals in hopes to acquire some keys from the Angel Deals. I was a bit stunned when I did that because I'm, I'm at the point right now where I'm a little bit beyond that uh, because I have so many recordings going. <laughs> but um, yeah, unfortunately, passing up potentially great items so we could get to the Angel, de uh, Angel Deals for keys. And you know, Angel Deals have, have good items. They have good items. I feel like they're a bit more defensive in some instances. But, um, you know, Devil, Devil Deals also has some pretty bad items as well. Uh, Game Kid thing's not really all that great. Don't want to give up the die this early in the run just yet for a space bar, so re-rolling that into nothing. Gonna look for some cards here. Anything to help get us to an Angel Deal at this point would be super helpful. Ghost Baby's not very helpful for Angel Deals, but it's helpful. So, easy, easy room to clear up. Fly is, uh, Fly gives me a little bit of troubles here, and don't worry, the run doesn't end because of that Fly, I promise. I wouldn't have uploaded it to uh, embarrass myself like that. Though I have embarrassed myself many other ways. A large contributor to my uh, desire to buy the battery on the first floor was also in case I come up with other spacebar items like the uh, Book of Shadows, anything like that that I, I'm going to be able to store charges for long term. It's also helpful with the battery as the, or for the die here because it's only two charges, which, you know, it's easy to charge up, but a lot gets wasted when you're traveling in between rooms. And, um, you know, backpack looks pretty decent here. Hoping to find some more coins before sinking into that investment. But we are going to go for the boss. Pray that we can get our angel deal here. Not a great fight. I don't like, I don't like fighting Junior as a loss, just because there's not very, very much protection, and he can get a little 50 on us. Perfection, and we got our angel deal. I always think that that is going to be a tears up for some reason. Uh, this room caught me off guard with the purple fire. And I wasn't exactly thrilled with the options here, as you can see. But we're going to end up with the angelic prism. I wanted to wait a little bit for that prison to come around so I get a little bit of extra damage in. Uh, yeah. Dropping some bombs here just to try to speed this up a little bit, but it also kind of worked against me because we don't have a bomb for another angel. And, you know, at that point, at this point, that's okay because we uh, did just get hit by the angel. And I'm in panic mode right now trying to avoid those rays of light. Now, I just barely got through and managed to get another bomb. But, I said, uh, we'll come back for you later, buddy. So, gonna check the rest of the floor, see what's available to us. Because we're not trying to do boss rush or hush. My god. Thank you for that dynamite. Middle of the room. We're up to 18 cents, pretty good. I can't remember if I remember that backpack is in the shop, but I think we're gonna go back and check. I'm hoping. Yeah, I think I got it. So we got an extra slot nail for a space bar item, so I don't have to dump the die right away. Get on down. Okay. Explosive fly room. This could be a little scary. 
sometimes. Fortunately, we have play to keep our distance a little bit. But chugging along here. Not passing up on the fires, because I can actually reach them. No key. No key. Prism coming in, uh, pretty useful here in some instances. Still don't have- well, we do- we did get a key. And there's a Tinder Rock. More bombs, hearts, and money. Yeah, it's- it could be good. Wanted to check to see the rate on which it deflected items and got... Bell Tears. Which isn't terrible, it gives a little bit of damage to walking enemies, and it figures the first room I walk into, uh, flying enemies. We're hovering, I guess we'd say. Uh, these flies are quite thirsty for the charges on my die, but extinguish them pretty quick. We have enough keys, we can go back for the chest and the shop. Yep, almost walked into that lock, and we got it tears up. Not really feeling the shop right now, just with only uh, five cents. Might want to hold on to this key. If we don't get any more. So, likely to revisit the shop. We'll see what happens. We are pretty powerful right now, but... It's, uh... It's not bad to be a little greedy with the loss, because we do need to try to get to that glass cannon status, because we already start out as glass. Okay, pretty much a useless chest. Nothing really going on there, and there's a troll bomb. Great card. Pretty helpful, if I can remember to use it. See who the boss is. And we got hit pretty early, that's not good. I'm gonna hang out over this rock and take care of our boss. Got our angel deal. And a useless boss item. But we want to save the charges for the angel deal. We didn't want Breath of Life, and Breath of Life uh, didn't want us to have anything else. So we're going to place a bomb here. Get ready for our angel. Wanted to wait for the prison to come around a little bit so I could be ready with some extra damage so I could speed this up a little bit quicker. And uh, I'm going to finish the angel pretty quick. We only have one key. And... I am debating on these eternal chests, and I've opted out. And we got another tiers up. We are above tiers cap. We have some other rooms that we can investigate, but we're going to choose not to. Felt like it was a pretty successful floor, didn't need to waste the key in hopes for something in the shop. And just think the run could have ended there. So, gonna use the rocks to our advantage here because I don't like the bone throwers. They almost always hit me. I feel like their chances of hitting me are always higher than missing. It just feels that way. I don't know why. It's just how it works out. Just in the numbers, I guess. Getting a lot of chess, I feel like, for this run. I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping count. Going back to check the skulls. Still looking for uh, cards. You know, a Joker card would be very nice along with a Chaos card. Anything to help give us, you know, an instant phase win on a boss would be tremendous. And Brimstone Fighters. Nobody likes them. Got our item room. Looking forward to this. And we get... Lucky Foot. Hopefully I remember to take pills. Hopefully. 
Got our shop. We have 17 cents. I could make something of it. Bombing the shopkeeper to increase deal chance. Because we do uh, still want to try to pull out any kind of items we can from our deals. Especially now we can take devil deals. Those are also nice if we get some decent devil deal items. Uh, brimstone would be a lot of fun. But we'll see what happens, right? Why we, why we do this. And I remembered we had a pill. And we got a tears up. So, above tears cap, I forget what item exactly put us over the tears cap, because I don't believe we got the eye drops. But we have a phenomenal tears rate at the moment. I think I remembered to go back and check this pill is what I'm doing. Yes. Luck up. Going to go and take on the boss, especially with the t uh, double active item right now. We have two full charges, so no sense in wasting rooms. And gonna make pretty quick work of these bosses, thanks to our build. And uh, Angelic Prism, to be honest with you, when I first came in, did a lot of work. Um, I kind of need the keys, and, you know, you never like to see it. You never like to see it. So, I got desperate here, took re-roll when I should have taken some keys, but hey, we are at 6.5 tears rate. You can't cry about that, even though your tears rate is how much you cry. Got a boss challenge room here. Uh, I'm interested somewhat. We did get all of our tears up that we want, and, um, you know, we got stapler, so there's not a whole lot that is going to be available to us. There's pageant boy, and there's nothing. Got ourselves a library, and thank God we took backpack. Hoping for the Book of Shadows here. Would like to get some invincibility, especially if we can get a double charge on the book at this point. And, uh, you know, we can re-roll books in the library. I got to this room and was hoping that I would, uh, not lose the Epic Hack shot turrets in the middle of the room. There it is, Book of Shadows. And we are also going to get Bookworm here with three books at our disposal. I think we also picked up the Bible, so oh, maybe not. No, that's right. We re-rolled it for the Angelic Prism. That's right. So we have Book of Shadows. It's going to be very helpful. It's a little bit of extra protection, and it's going to be nice to be able to have two charges on that if uh, we aren't taking too many hits. Got some pills here, and I remembered that we had good pills at this point. Power pill. It's good to remember that that is in the pill pool, in case we come across it again for a boss. Nuke those guys, and we are just trucking along. Jacob's Ladder is going to be very helpful for the night guys. I am terrible at getting them to kite around and then shoot in the back of the head. Uh, I don't know, it's just tricky sometimes. Not digging this. So, trying to get the die out, re-rolling it, and more options. Get some bombs here. Nothing going on down here, just some more money. to find our way to the boss. There it is. Lone Little Haunt. I can totally take the boss on right now, but we are uh, still 
trying to search for something, and there is some extra damage, which uh, is pretty pretty good. We'll take it. More options was, you know, its usefulness pretty much ran its course, and uh, we still need to find the item room. Library kind of took me by surprise, obviously, and forgot all about the item room, and that's what we're hunting for right now. What more could we ask for? Hey, there's Flush. Flush is uh, actually a pretty decent item for us. Um, it can really get rid of some of the junk in the larger rooms that we don't want to deal with. And, you know, the die has pretty much run its course. We have pulled out almost all of the tears up items at this point. Can't really get much higher tears rate unless we take soy milk. And we got, you know, our damage up. And we're not going to be getting too many more pedestal items. So really, I think Flush is the, uh, the play. Uh, we have our book out for protection in case we get stomped on or, you know, run into an enemy. But we are, we're nuking Mom pretty quickly, especially with her stomping down on our uh, tears. So, going to take the negative here because we still need a lamb kill. Going to peek at the boss rush items and shiver at those. So Utero 1, I have Flush out because I totally want to use it in this room. We get two charges back, and I don't have to deal with all the junk that would have been here. Get our Book of Shadows back out. Everything here is going to die pretty quick, for the most part. We are very powerful. I think I go back for the Curse Room. I don't know why I wouldn't. We have a book to get us out if we get in trouble. I can't remember. Maybe I had to pee and was in a super rush and wanted to get this run over with. Uh, I have no idea. I'm not a fan of the eyes. Panicked a little bit in this room and then realized that, hey, they don't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. Should have, uh, should have passed it. Probably and I take the right direction here. Don't want to do a full clear. Can't stand this enemy. Just going to eat up a lot of time. And um, just be in the way and be a nuisance. Quick work of double Bomberman fight. You love to see it. Because otherwise he'll just blow himself up. And nobody likes to watch somebody struggle with that. Up to 33 cents. Uh, I keep gathering the money. I know I don't need it uh, in case we get money equals power. Use flush here. Larger rooms are really nice because you do get two of the uh, charges back. Um, I have it here out because uh, I don't want to deal with that room. I do rely on it a little bit because I don't like the whole turret room and, you know, enemies like that. So the book came in useful here. It was a really beautiful looking burst of the angelic prison there. Um, you can back up and look at that again if you want. Uh, but here we have everybody's favorite streamer. I flushed to clear out any other enemies that might have been in the room. I didn't flush thinking I was going to take out streamer man. It was clearing anything else that might have been in here. Because I know some of these larger rooms like this can have a bunch of flies at the other end and didn't want to deal with those end mega fatty. I'm not sure if they were in there, but figured it was better safe than sorry. Got a double charge for the space bar item anyway. Thank you, Jacob's Ladder, for taking care of the eye in the back. And Cricket's head is just, uh, the spider mite's worst nightmare. 
flushing our enemies away again, checking the poos, and uh, get our book ready. Uh, I, I'm definitely playing a little too messy here. Uh, gotta take Mom's point purse because it's the greatest item in the game. But not just because of that, we also have our lucky foot, so we are going to, you know, have better pills. Tears up, hematemesis. No, we didn't really get great pills. We're at tears cap, so the tear pill didn't do much for us. Get the book ready and jump on down. Okay, got ourselves a jumping spider. I'm never a fan of countering that in Isaac and in real life. Oh, ho, ho. look what we got here. I, uh, a little nervous about doing this. You see me move around a little bit in the middle of the room, testing my speed out, uh, really trying to feel it, and uh, I'm feeling the speed down at the moment. So, Kind of nervous, because we are under one for speed. Wanted to hit that in case we got a chest with something in it, because I'm considering speed now. Uh, Black Tooth, great item. I can't remember if I take it or not. We don't really have anything procking off of luck, so that's why... That's why uh, Perfection gets left behind. Juke those shots, and uh, we can pretty much turn around and get the hell out of here. Got a boss room here. I'm going to peek in case we get a speed up, and that is not a speed up. Yes. Very slow. I don't want to go through that room because it's just going to link between these two. There's no sense of going through it. I am uh, a little nervous with the speed down at this point just because the eyes, if you're not quick in the It Lives fight, you could get zapped early on. Can't even play the blood donation machine to try and get blood bag for a speed up, which is super unfortunate. Fortunately, we have Jacob's Ladder to clear that up. I'm gonna reset our shield here so I can open this chest. Uh, you just feel like there's min pins in this room, but we uh, get lucky. Nothing. Brimstones. I wasn't sure what directions those were gonna be shooting in. It looked like they were at least the front and back. Couldn't tell if they were all four, four ways. I believe I'm trying to guess the secret room here in hopes that there's a speed item. I just, I do remember this part of the run being very concerned about speed overall. And we got our first greed fight of the run. At least it was here and not in one of the shops. This run has certainly slowed down. We are we are looking for another card. Let's see if there's anything that's a little bit more beneficial to us. Judgment could pay out with a speed up item, so that's why we're going to do this. We don't need the money for anything else. That is not a speed up. That is not a speed up. Take our strength card back because really all we got. Don't really want to waste too many more bombs on, you know, the payout we have been getting, which is uh, boosts. A little bit more money. More money, more problems. So we certainly have some problems coming up. I'm sure of it. Waiting for the prism there. 
just because I don't have the whole ability to dodge very quickly. Large room here. Probably should have... Yeah, there it is. I say. Probably should have changed the flush. And I saw those hearts and the faces looking at me and I was like, yeah. Flush them. Waiting for the prison to come back around. Uh, waiting for the prism to come up now. Ended up on the wrong side of it lives with the way the prism is positioned, but gonna help us finish it. Got ourselves an angel deal along with Hush. Hey, that is a damage up uh, percentage wise. So we are gonna get a nice little buff there. 1.82. And, um, yeah, not feeling, not feeling real fast. So, uh, I'm definitely not feeling hush at this point. Trying to look at my range, seeing if it's something that I could, you know, work with. Looking at the tears rate build up, and, um, yeah, just not feeling it. Not feeling it. It's not a hush build. Very powerful, strong build, but, you know, between range and our uh, speed to dodge, not worth it. So, I'm gonna flush, get him out of there. And it's not a bone hand mom and it was it was and do a flush there and thought i had the book out didn't really mean the flush wanted to use the protection so a little bit of a waste but we can clean up the smaller rooms pretty quickly Power pill debating on keeping that for the Satan fight, just as you know, a little bit of extra invincibility. Not really sure what I want to do. <clears throat> there is a lot going on with the screen now, with uh, shots spinning in circles and all that stuff. So this is getting a little bit chaotic and difficult to tell what is actually happening sometimes. But we did find our fight. Waiting for the prism, but uh, it doesn't really matter because we're going to have to deal with this phase anyway. Uh, did not time the bomb right, and that's fine because it's, uh, it's like a 75% chance of failing anyway, right? So, get hit early on and it's full panic for me and trying to use the shots, spinning in circles, and I'm really wishing Satan would hurry his shit up. We are having some lag here, but, um, you know, I popped the shield again, just because I don't want to deal with failure, and, uh, we managed to pull off a win for Satan, and we are gonna have to head down to the dark chest. Kicking myself in the ass for not using, uh, strength or the power pill here, and then going back for power pill now also i'm kind of interested in trying to get the book charge back up i was feeling pretty confident in my ability to clear rooms here and figured let me go get a couple charges on book but we are one bar away and you know i just feel like this because we're gonna have much tougher enemies per room and i ended up having to use the power pill here But we do have a full charge in the book, and I think uh, I think that was a good sign. Or maybe not. I'm just going to go risk it. All right. So we're going to keep going, trying to get more charges on the book. I, uh, I'm calling a fluke on that previous room and just risking it for 
brisket. That guy wants none of my none of my abilities here. So I'm going to stay under this hat. No, thank you. So, with one bar left on the book to charge for a full charge, we're just going to go for it. Uh, we shouldn't need two charges on the first room of the dark chest. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Placing here is these will be free, or one of them will be free. I don't think you can get all four of them as the lost. I'm not really feeling many of these options. Uh, scary face is, you know, okay. It might keep some enemies at bay. Uh, we have a double monster two fight here. Not idea. Uh, did get hit, um, but managed to, you know, finish it off before it got worse. Got a full charge on the book. Have it ready to go. Swamp to the flush. Get that guy down the toilet. Hey, there's some uh, punch tears. Those are always fun. Probably not as fun with the ring that I have going on. Uh, could put some enemies in some weird positions, but it feels really good to just punch this guy in the face. So, ended up getting hit here, had to use the book. Just, uh, it's what happens, right? Also found ourselves in a dead end. We do need a lamb kill, so that's why we, uh, you know, we're going for the lamb. This is, uh, kind of a scary room, but the, you know, Jacob's... Jacob's ladder kind of... helps, uh, take care of the crowd control there. Uh, the spiders got hit here, but, um, I believe we're okay. A little bit of faith here. Uh, grabbing this key very cautiously and resetting the shield and coming back for this chest. No, thank you. Ooh, thank you. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of soy milk. Almond milk, I feel like it's it's basically soy milk, but it's going to intentionally make some of your shots miss. Uh, and I'm not a fan of it. So, again, just a smaller room for these guys, but, you know, clustering them together, making it easier to hit them. Yeah, not flushing these guys. A little too big for the uh, pipe, but can uh, certainly do damage quickly. Oh. The husk here, not a problem either. Perfect build for crowd control, dealing with any kind of flies. We got some spiders. Oh, brownie. And he's uh he's gone. Didn't even get a chance to shit himself. Wanted to flush this guy, but also wanted to see if I could dodge his first round of attacks and uh, pulled it off. I was feeling pretty confident after that because I was like, hey, I'm really struggling against this guy. <laughs> Knockback tier is really kind of messing with the mass there. Uh, it could go bad, just like Cursed Eye. Got a little nervous there with those guys kind of exploding with their tear deaths. Could have gotten hit there and then the steam easily could have popped up on us. Um, was able to run off to the side and be okay. Um, no. So, I probably should have been really careful in this room not to, you know, get four of them out at one time. But, um, yeah, we're, we're pretty powerful. You could say. 6.5 tier rate with uh, 10.92 damage. 
um, you know, we're able to hold our own against some pretty tough stuff. Uh, got ourselves a dark lamb chop here, phased them, and was trying to use some of the ring tears to get some damage in on the head, but the uh, knockback is really kind of making some trouble here. A uh, little nervous, but we haven't gotten hit yet. And uh, managed to get ourselves a kill against the lamb. Uh, it's time to go take on the big man and try to get a two for one here. We have a really good build. We could easily nuke Mega Satan down in, in, you know, pretty quickly through his phases and take out most of his adds. And we do have a double charge on the Book of Shadows. So you have to feel pretty confident about that. As long as you, uh, you know, remember to use them. Uh, starting off here, gonna try to jump off to the side because, you know, I don't feel real comfortable with the Brimstone attack. Doing my best to dodge, and you know what? We already got hit. Good thing we got that book. We phased them. He's got adds. Uh, this clown should melt pretty quickly. Um, almost got hit there. Also, when I'm playing right now, I keep thinking that I have the shield up. I don't. I don't know why the bubble kind of stays around me. Uh, it gets a little confusing, but it's also very difficult to see with all the colors that are happening on the screen. Getting as much damage in as possible. We have our next ad phase here. Got Bomberman. Our knockback tiers can be very ugly with the bombs popping up. And got popped. Very unfortunate. It's a shame. But, um, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Great build. And we're going to have to come back and go at Mega Satan again. Uh, very disappointed at the very end here. Would have loved to have not had to come back to Mega Satan and just kind of start working on Delirium, but uh, it's just how it goes. So for now guys, feel free to like, comment, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and I'll catch you all in future runs in the floors down below. Peace!